Hey guys, Dancy2, back with Final Fantasy IV. Today, hopefully I will not get desync. But in other news, today we're going in Edge's trial, but before we go in Edge's trial, I have a little bit of something to work out here. Um, it's mostly about the equipment in the Lunar Ruins. Uh, specifically, since I have access to it right now, uh, Asura's Rod. I probably should have gone over this earlier. Uh, specifically, probably when I got Kane's Dragon Claw. But... I better- I should probably just go over it now just to get it over with and done. A lot of the new weapons we get in this area are bugged. Um, this is fixed in the European and Japanese 1.1 releases as usual, but for our release, they are bugged. Um, all their stat changes are exactly- are as they are, so it- for- as weapons, they still work. Uh, actually that's not entirely true. It's a little bit weird, because, um... Their stat changes are the same, so you get the same amount of attack boost and everything else. But, as items, they are kind of coded weird. From what I understand, in the game, they're coded as armor instead of weapons. Um, this really doesn't do much in terms of how they're equipped, because they're still coded as uh, the specific items that they are. But it does something in terms of their effects. Um, let's just use a Sur's Rod for example. Uh, normally a Sur's Rod would be Holy Elemental. Uh, it would add Holy Elemental to your attacks. But, because it's bugged like this, instead of adding the Holy Elemental to attacks, it, you actually resist it instead. Um, I was- I tested this out earlier, I, I actually haven't been able to test this yet. But I got, went and got the Curse Ring, and I used it, and I had Power and plug him with a Holy Spell. And, what do you know, it healed him. So, yeah, that- totally works. Um, every, everything that would be a uh, enhancer to your offense now becomes an enhancer to your defense because of this. Uh, elementals um, now become elemental resistances. Uh, if it has a status effect it can trigger, like, um, or a spell it can trigger, kind of like uh, Kane's Abel's Lance, which isn't bugged by the way. From what I can understand, there's like three weapons that aren't bugged for sure, which is Cecil's Ultimate Sword, Abel's Lance, and Kane's Ultimate, not Kane, Sid's Ultimate Hammer, uh, are all three not bugged, and they all do different things. Well, they kind of do the same thing, but it's weird. I'll go over them when they come up. But, yeah, Element will become, uh, Resistance. Uh, if it casts a spell or it causes a status, you will be resistant to that spell or status. Um... And lastly, and kind of most importantly, if it would do more damage to a specific type of monster, you now resist that type of monster. Which is actually very good for a very specific person later on. Uh, I'll get back to that later, but for right now, that's kind of what I wanted to go over with. I'll try and hit the- I'll try and tell what equipment uh, is bugged like this. But for now, it's a Sura's Ride and the Dragon Claw for Yang, definitely. Um, we haven't really gotten anything else for anyone new that would fall into the category, so, uh, yeah. But, enough talk. Time to go and face Edge's trial. This is actually really scary for me. This is only the second time I've ever done this trial, because I hate it. And I'll get into why as soon as we get in. What the heck is this place? It's all flooded. I'm trying to think of another flooded area, and I can't. God, it's like MC Escher went mad. Not MC Escher. I think it's Escher. I don't know. The guy with the crazy stairs. It's like he went insane on this castle. Yeah, I bet it's a playground. Or is it a waterfall? I can't even tell. Walking up and down, walking up and down the sideways stairs. Oh God, there is stairs. <laughs> We can't... <sighs> Fucking idiot. Dumbass! Ugh. But yep, we can't go. And I think there's something up with this statue? I can't remember. But yeah, this place is absolutely nuts. I can't actually pull that, I don't think. Anyway, 
this is pretty much going to be our normal battle for the area, is lots of palace guards. But... Actually, the Lamia Queen's kind of different. I never, I don't normally see them here. Normally, it's just like one palace guard, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I'll get into it after this battle, because I'm sure it's going to happen. Plug him with a holy spell, please. Or Kane could help out, I don't know. There we go, that'll do. And that is why there are palace guards all over the place here. In this trial, they will drop keys. And you will have, uh, like, 20 keys by the time this is done. I think you only need, like, three in the entire trial. Nope, can't pull that. Nothing up here. And here's our standard battle for the area. One palace guard, die. I hate you so much. Oh, nice. Edge of stone. I'll deal with that later. I don't think you could sell the keys either. Glitchy door is glitchy! Yay. Wait, why am I wasting that? Damn, you can use the Sora. But yeah, get ready for, you know, basically a ton of, like, one-sided fights. So I'm basically gonna be breaking them as fast as possible. I wish I had something to increase Palom's speed. Yeah. I'll deal with it later. I think it's in here. Oh, right, this is hell. We'll be there a lot. Or I could just ignore them. I'm just gonna run. I hate you guys. Go away! Obvious button. Oh, right. There's a button on the other side, under the other torch. That's the one I'm supposed to hit. So now it's gonna be a palace guard that I have to kill. Okay, I'm back. I'm getting really paranoid about whether or not I'm desyncing. Oh god, three of them. Uh, you. Yes, hit the ones that are under things, I th I'm assuming. Hey, water of life. I, I, I remember that this was here, because... Trust me, you're gonna need it. Oh shit, Kane got, uh, stoned. Should probably fix that. Luckily, when you get stoned, it fully heals you, so that's nice. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, trapdoor, hi. And, as I said before... Oh, no, we don't... I thought we ended up in hell. Oh, well. Let's go, let's go back... You didn't drop us very far, so let's go back up there and give him a piece of our mind. Oh shit, fire. Edge, I don't think it's a good idea. Alright. Here we have cracked four tiles. Um, these, if you're if you're a fan of Golden Sun 2, I think Golden Sun 1 as well, you'll you'll be pretty familiar with this. Uh, these, if we step on them once, we'll fall straight through. These, we can step on once and cross them. So obviously, we're gonna want to go over here and get into a battle.
I hate you so much. Just cure him. Cecil, please do this before Kane gets his attack off. Yes. I don't feel like killing outside of battle. I'm a lazy ass. Anyway, we hit the button so we can leave. What does this say? Right four. Uh, I'm ignoring you. I hate you. Actually, I'm curious. What is right for? One, two, three, four. Absolutely nothing. What's up here? Oh, hi. If I had to guess, this is because I walked through the door. Well, let's start throwing crap. I got some stuff to throw, I think. Or I don't. Thank you, Kane. Let's get out of here. Okay. There we go. There's something about that that I don't quite trust. Anyway, I don't think we can go that way. Yeah, if we go that way, we get stuck, so F that. And here's where the fun begins. As you saw earlier, there is invisible platforms. Uh, one moment. I need to move my guide a little. Alright. Now, as you see here, this is our directions. This is like the puzzle in the bottom, in the back of the library in uh, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Except we don't have the Cave of Samaria this time. And we don't respawn when we fall down. We go to a completely different area, have to fight our way back up here, and try again. It's a pain in the ass, and I hate it forever. Um... Yeah, it's a good idea, but in... But in practice, it really doesn't work. One, down. One, two, right. Down, down, right, and then on the solid. Whew. Okay, here's where shit gets crazy. Right three, up four, left four, up eight, right five. I hate you, game, and you know it. Luckily, I have a guide, so I don't have to deal with it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Ah! That's the other thing that can happen, is you can lose count really easily. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I was gonna hit a wall anyway, thank god. And then... One, two, three, four. Four, five, and straight on till morning. Ah, uh, Jordan, don't do that right now. Uh, uh. Okay, we need to pass up all the stairs because they probably lead to almost nothing or stuff I don't care about. There's treasure all over the place in this area, but I really don't care, and I hate you. Why do you always hit him? I guess it's, you know, irony. 
because that's how I would have killed them. Okay. Okay, I don't have a choice here after to hit that. And open up the purple doors. Just head all the way down and out the door. And I'm just ignoring you guys now. Cause I... Where do I go from here? Oh! Genius! Because the thing's reset now. Haha! -ha. I'm cheating. Anyway. Um... Okay, I think I go for here. Yes. Hit green switch. Oh, I can't go through there. I have to go down. And we land up, and we end up in hell again. Good Lord Almighty. Or not. Okay, I don't go to hell. How the fuck did I end up here? Oh well, I'm not questioning it. Oh, I have to get back up to where I was. Alright. Uh, can I... No, but I can do this. Spacebar, please. Thank you. Might as well do it while I'm here. I can take a breather. It's just really anxiety that's getting to me at this point. I hate you. Eh, you can freeze Edge. I don't care about him. I'll bring him back to life when I care. Not when I care, when I get a chance. Uh, how do I get down? Ah, okay, I press A there. And I just gotta kinda retrace my steps. What is down here, anyway? Absolutely nothing good, except the way back outsiders I don't care about. Bye. Alright. Through the door. Let's go over here. <laughs> hit and run. Okay, that door looks tempting, but I don't... Wait a minute, I don't... Can, I can take it easy. That's a shortcut, I just realized. Yay me! Out of the way. Wait, what the... Oh, uh, what the heck? What is this nonsense? Wait, what? Well, both stairs lead the same way. I'm confused as shit. Alright, same thing as before. Down one, right two, down, down, right, across, and right one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up straight until morning. Well, up straight onto the green door, and then right onto the morning. Uh... Walk through the green door, it's opened. If 
for the stairs. Hidden passage. Okay. Give me a second, I gotta move my page again. Okay. All the way down. One, two, and then down. Okay, I think I have to go back, actually. Um... I have to get to that door somehow? Nope, there's nothing here. Okay... Now what is the question? Okay, I can't actually fall off here, I think. Yes. Huh. Oh. Huh. High keyhole and grave, fortune palace guards of battle. This is where we use our keys at. Okay, wait a minute. All the empty scenes. Okay. Whoa. Oh jeez, I actually have to revive those guys. Let's do that now before I get in any deeper shit. Six keys, which is more than I think. Well, I have five now. Now four. I don't really care. I hate you. Nothing then up. And bada bing bada boom, I believe this is our boss in here, so let me heal up for just a second. And I'm gonna make a safe state here, just to be safe. Cause 
I'm not doing that again. I refuse. Pray this doesn't desync. Okay, safe state has been made. Party has been readied, I think. Let's do this. How you doing, buddy? Let's do this. Lunar Ifrit. Uh, I've actually had to look up the boss strategy for this guy because I haven't fought him in a while. Oh god, that's not good. Um, boss strategy for this guy is you are going to want to get... Um, he's going to rely a lot on physical attacks and uh, some basic fire magic, but the real herder is if you cast ice magic on him, which I will demonstrate now. Uh, let's get blink on people. Because his physical is what's going to hurt a lot. Damn it. Yeah, flame, whatever. Wow, that was pathetic. Yeah, look at that. That hurts. Ow. But the kicker is if you use ice magic on him like you would originally expect to do, he's going to glare you. So yeah, ice magic, not very good in this fight. Oh wow, glared in an insta-kill. Didn't put me down into... That's weird. I don't know. The point is the same. That glare is going to hurt, and it's a bad counter as well. Oh, nice. Kane's jump doesn't, tra doesn't trigger his counter. Uh, let's see what we can't get off on him. Uh, Flare, why not? Other than that, he's pretty straightforward. Just keep your healing up and keep blink on everyone because that physical is going to hurt a lot. He also doesn't seem to counterattack regular magic too much. So yeah, if you know what you're doing, this can actually be one of the easier boss fights. Kane, would you get in the air, please? You're not doing anyone any favors. Thank you. Okay, get your image back up, Kane. Not Kane. Edge! Why do I constantly get Edge and Kane mixed up? That's a fatal flaw. I could just spam that on him. Yeah, if you have Rydia for this fight, having her spam um, the uh, Mist Dragon with its upgrade was a really good idea. Because that'll constantly keep Blink on everyone. It'll only be one layer, but hell, it'll be on everyone. You'll get it instantly. Aw, oh, look at the little fire. It's a piece of shit. Get the fuck out. Get blink on Cecil again. I might have to let up a little bit to heal, but for now I should be good. Especially if Kane can get back in the air before he causes any trouble. Thank you. Oh boy. And he lives, hell yeah. But we need to heal for sure. He's not been drawing a lot of aggro to Palum for some reason. I, uh, I don't know about that. Oh, and I get him in his awesome pose for his death animation. Easiest fight so far? I think so. 
So yeah, just don't use ice magic and this guy's easy. Double jump and Mist Dragon upgrade helps a lot. And actually didn't run out of things to say in that fight. That's the first. Gilmore Lunar Infrared. I will never be using this. Anyway, we get the Hanzo Gloves. I doubt that's how it's pronounced, but I'm rolling with it. This will upgrade edges, um, and we get dropped out of Trapdoor again. <laughs> no, we are leaving. Come with us. Ah, it's done. As I was saying before, the High Enzo Glove upgrades uh, Edge's steel to, um... It upgrades it to a uh, plunder, which is basically mug in this game. Uh, yeah, I'll clip it on him. I'm basically not going to use Edge for the rest of the game. Even though he does have another sword upgrade I can get, I'll get that for him eventually, I guess. But for now, I'm going to head back up, and I will see you guys next time when I grab up another new party, kick Edge out, and get rolling. So, see you guys then.